Children family, children family, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got some what I believe to be great news. Jalen Harvey appears to be, listen, I was told by a little birdie that he's really leaning toward USC, and he looks like he's about to commit to USC. Um, this is what I'm told. My source is telling me that. I did the same thing with David Pele Pele. You guys remember I told you guys on a Monday that he's leaning toward USC. He ended up committing that Saturday. Um, the same birdie told me this individual, Jalen Harvey, is really leaning toward USC. Now, you guys already know he's from the DMV area. Same, you know, out there where uh, Sam Green, uh, not too far away, but these guys are friends. And so I'm telling you now, um, you guys are hearing it first. Um, you, you can call it, I guess you can call it a crystal ball, but I said it last time that I, that he was leaning toward USC and my sources were telling me that. Um, you guys already know it's never final until it's final, but let's take a look real quick at Jalen Harvey real quick. All right, you guys already know Jalen Harvey is a big boy, man, standing at six foot three, 250 pounds, and he is a consistent four-star prospect, a big guy. Look, he was at one point, he was projected to go to Penn State. And for a long time, he's been kind of crystal ball to Penn State. However, um, just coming off his second visit, and I actually got this information on Saturday, but I was so lost in the sauce, and my, my birdie reminded me, he said, hey, Jay, you going to hit this? You going to make this uh, video about Jalen Harvey? We, we're giving you the information. And I said, man, I was so lost in the sauce. We're just talking about USC the past couple of days. It totally, uh, I totally forgot about it. So here we are today. Um, this is Tuesday. You guys are hearing it. I I'm hearing that he's crystal ball. Um, he had an outstanding. He had an outstanding visit with his mom. They enjoyed themselves. Um, you guys see him there throwing up the fight on fight on sign. Uh, Jalen Harvey, he's throwing up the fight on sign. And look, man, I believe it's go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. Um, I want to take a look real quick at his uh, his profile. And before we do that, we'll just take a brief look. This was him over the weekend, and he was absolutely lost in the USC love sauce once again. And look, man, whenever these guys take a trip, uh, they already had their, their trip, uh, the, unof the official visit in June. He was on that big trip with all those guys. And then you come in now, you're making an unofficial visit. Um, you just want to, you know, just lock, lock it and secure this, uh, this visit. Just make sure this is what you want to do. Um, I, I think it's a done deal. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, I think he's locked, sealed, and delivered. Let's take a look real quick. And you see here on three actually has him at six foot two, but he's six foot three, 250 pound, four star prospect. And um, I think Jalen Harvey loves USC. USC loves him. And Leak and Riley and this staff, you guys already know, look at the amount of freshmen that play just this past weekend. They're promising these guys. Um, Braylon Conley, he made it out. You guys know he was a big time guy. Braylon Conley, uh, all these guys seeing all these freshmen play, uh, 13, 12. 12 freshmen play this past weekend. Of course, Tacky Curtis, Eleni Noah, uh, multiple guys. Braylon Shelby had tackles. Elijah Hughes. These guys are showing up and showing out. So USC and staff able to have these guys move and groove. Man, you gotta wonder if these guys are absolutely thinking about uh, USC let, letting them and affording them the opportunity to come in and play. Sam Green would have played, but I think he's kind of hampered by a small tweak injury. Not nothing major, but a small tweak injury. Now. Uh, that's the information I want to share with you. Uh, I need you guys to take a look at these Vegas odds. Vegas knows something. USC is a big-time favorite in the Pac-12. Let's take a look at this. Now, I don't bet. I'm not a better at all. That's not what I do. But I, I do respect um, the information that they put out because you can kind of gauge sometimes um, information that they put out. You guys know they had USC like 7th seven, seventh to, to win a national championship, 7th best best odds last year you guys know periodically i will show you these numbers that they update week to week this one just updated um um not too long ago uh just about nine minutes ago i'm making this video the night before actually and this video this information updated and you see here Cl crimson tide alabama plus 500 and then you see here ohio state plus 800 uh lsu plus a thousand and then you see usc right there plus a thousand so they got one two three four the fourth best chance they consider to win the national championship um that's the odds that came out and another site actually has them um i think at number seven so usc is still in the mix they're the only two teams in the pac 12 that are top right now as far as national title odds listen we told you guys these guys rotated multiple guys 
they rotated a lot of guys around. Let me let you guys take a look at this other site. Notice here, this is sports book review. All these sites came out yesterday, which was Monday. Uh, well, yeah, Monday, which is uh today. I'm actually recording this in through the night. Um, but look, you see USC down here, one, two, three, four, five, six spots down. And notice they got plus two thousand on this one, and they got the they got the little fire sign right there. That means that USC is hot. What they seen, they know that USC was just rotating players. They played seventy two players, seventy two players over the weekend, and we have an eighty five man roster. You don't just play 72 players with an 85-man roster. Um, they were trying to figure out mix and match pieces. And you guys already know I've done videos uh, earlier on last week saying, letting you guys know that the first six games, these guys are going to be mixing and matching. Jaywalk was on my show. We did a live yesterday. And you guys already know Jaywalk kind of put it out there as far as how this thing is going to go. So, man, look, you guys can hit me in the comment section. You see here is Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan, LSU, then comes six, USC, and um, actually, that's DraftKings. DraftKings has them, and I didn't even uh, look at that, but DraftKings has them plus 1,600. FanDuel plus uh, 2,000. And, of course, BetMGM plus 1,400. So USC is in some great shape. And then you got Clemson, Florida State, Texas, and Penn State. Now, I got to show you guys, I, you know, I got to show you guys, that he has been on point. This guy, Josh Paint, paid for 24-7 sports, has been putting some real information out as far as just, um, you know, different different um, things as far as USC is concerned. But I was very shocked to see what he put out yesterday. I'm going to let you guys take a look at this. I'm not going to have anything negative to say. I'm just going to put it out there. You guys tell me what you think. Now, Josh Pay put this out yesterday. You guys tell me if you agree with this. Conference championships. You guys see it here. He has the SEC. Um, it's going to be Alabama versus Georgia, which is expected. Ohio State oh, over <laughs> over. Iowa, and then Big 12, uh, Texas over Oklahoma State, ACC, he has Florida State over, um, which I agree with that one, um, Clemson, and then he has Oregon over UCLA. I don't know, you know, I don't know what the thinking was behind that. I'm just going to leave this right here and let you guys, I want you guys to drop those comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about that. Is, is, is this a loss in the sauce? conference championship of, of all time or i mean you guys hit me in the comment section iowa uh, wow i mean I, I was surprised to see that man so look you guys can hit me in the comment section you guys let me know your thoughts until later on man this is all i got for you guys don't forget make sure you get up get out and make some things happen until later on fight on fight on fight on